Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by IT company Nexian Group, ASX code NNG. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Executive Chairman of Nexian, Peter Christie. Hi Pete. Hi Matt. Okay, so Perth-based Nexian Group is an IT company that offers everything from cloud-based hosting and data storage, networking, cyber security, operating systems and backup services, hardware and software. Since listing on the ASX in 21, the company has been on a pathway to profitability and after restructuring its cost base recently and enjoying significant revenue growth, July marked a milestone month for Nexium with its very first ever profit. Okay, Pete, we'll get into that profit in a minute, but firstly, what exactly does Nexium make money from? Well, Matt, Nexium's foundation uh, asset is the data centre that we own in Belmont and from that facility we deliver uh, enterprise IT services across the full range of the IT stack, including networks, compute storage, software, everything that an enterprise needs to run its IT. Okay, so tell me about your EBITDA profitability journey over, say, the last few months, and in particular in July, which I believe was your first ever profitable month. Yeah, we're really excited about it. We took a decision in February to pivot towards profit. The previous two years, we'd been focused on top line revenue growth. And so the restructuring was carried out through March, April, May and June. We were running at a negative $270,000 EBITDA in April. That reduced to one seventy in May, down to a $78,000 loss in June. July, we hit an eighty three thousand dollar profit for the month. Now, as best I can tell from your graphs, it looks like you were sitting on monthly revenues of about 600k and you've almost touched 800k in July. Why the jump? We restructured around April to focus on the revenue that was good revenue, good profitable revenue rather than just revenue for revenue's sake. And we started from a base in April of around $540,000 and that's grown steadily through 630, 636 and then up to 795 in, in July. And that's just organic growth from new customers and additional services to the existing customers. Now, the market- market obviously values annual recurring revenues from software as a service companies like yours rather than you know just once off say hardware sales. What does your annual recurring revenue run rate look like now? So 95% of what we do is recurring. We really do focus on solid recurring revenue based contracts across a full range of our products. So when you look at our $795,000 of revenue in July, the majority of that is recurring revenue. I know your share price has doubled recently, so you must be doing something right. Peter Christie from Nexian Group, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the Public Companies tab.